Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Free Spirits, a channel where we talk about the things we like. One of the things we like is the theory of social ethics. And in today's episode, we're going to use it to analyze the characters of the 1992 film Aladdin. We're going to start with the protagonist. Aladdin is introduced to us in a scene where we see him running away from the gods. What's important here is that he is enjoying the thrill of a chase, which points us to the fact that he is a sea valier. Later, we see him exchanging insults with Prince Ahmed when he gets increasingly angry and leaps forward with the intention to strike him. What we see in this scene not only shows us he values the sea, but also in the course of this scene we learn of his valid FI. He is hurt by a reminder of his low social status. And then we see him demonstrate his ability to envision how a situation will unravel and come up with a plan on the spot as he saves Jasmine, which shows that he also values T and NI. So by now, we know his gamma. To determine his exact type, we compare him to Jasmine. Whenever he, they interact, Jasmine is the one who displays physical presence and aggression, and that points to an SE ego. And speaking of her type, we can also see introverted ethics when she is able to read subtle meanings and motivations. Not only is she a five valuing, but she has a five as her lead aspect, with all its rigid morals, which we can see in a scene where she refuses to bow to Jafar. That makes her an ESI, which in turn would mean that Aladdin cannot be either of the gamma ethical types. In fact, we can see that he is not an SE ego in every scene in which he is with Jasmine, including the one on the balcony. In the final battle with Jafar, we can see again the main strength of Aladdin as he quickly devises a plan to defeat Jafar, which points to LIE over ILI. Now we are going to the most controversial type in Aladdin. It's fair to say that it's hard to pit down his type. What is obvious is that he demonstrates an abundance of FE enemy. So given this, there are three possible typings, ESC, EIE and IEE. One is eliminated easily in the scene in the cave when our LIE Aladdin uses his lioness to trick Genie into getting him and Abu out of the cave for free. It's Genie's consequent reaction betrays his valid SE because he actually buys into it as he sees it as a challenge and because he takes charge immediately. This means he's not an IE as they do not possess a C. it's a role function. The question becomes then whether Genie is an ESC or EIE. Already at this point, I'd say that only EIE would act this way, since SE is valid aspect for them, but as that seems to be a point of disagreement, we'll try to go further and add to our argument. So one way of deciding between ESC and EIE for Ginny would be to look at his use of NE. Ginny advises Aladdin to tell Jasmine the truth, which would be characteristic of intuition blocked with ethics and not with logic, and depending on the meaning, it can be attributed to either any endify, which would mean be a better person by telling the truth, or ni endify, which would mean be who you are. This means that by virtue of blockings, Genie can only be beta or delta, and since we have already eliminated IE as a possibility, that leaves us with the EIE. Actually, there is another instance where he produces the same way of thinking, when he tells that Aladdin will always be a prince to him. Genie puts a lot of emphasis on person's image, one's self-perception, which is the feature of introvert intuition. So, we conclude that Genie is an EIE, and indeed, one of the characteristic features of Genie is his theatricality, and one could even see him as a representation of the actor archetype. That's it for today, ladies and gentlemen. If you have any questions or comments, please use the comment section below. Good day.